Yo, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And uh, I'm back again with another video. I just woke up and um, I just feel like doing this video for you guys because I've been reading the comments on the last video that I did saying that die in America or move to Africa. I got my own African brothers and sisters living on the continent and also in the diaspora telling me that there are no jobs in Africa. So why are you telling us to go back to Africa? But I'm just going to educate you today. I'm going to enlighten you today because I also stayed in the diaspora. I lived in China for six good years. I went to China to study aeronautical engineering. And as I'm talking to you, that's not what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to advise each and everyone out there is that if you ever want to move to Africa, don't move to Africa to come look for a job. Come and create jobs in Africa. You know what? The whole education system in Africa is messed up. And this is why Africa is struggling. You know, like I got, um, I mean, beautiful African kids living in my house right now. I just want to ask them a few questions. They don't know what I'm going to ask them, but listen to what they're going to say. Come closer. Hey, I'm aware, where no, I don't want to know what. I don't want to come into the hunger salon. Okay, maybe someone has some. Echo school, you are. Bring the camera down. Bring the camera down. Miss in a one and a or I had a Oreo school or a farmer. One and a pro school, you're a farmer. That is how it is a very emperor farmer. Farm is skin. Farm is skin. I almost said God is. Why have it in a better farmer? A yard woman. So, this is the kind of education that we had when we were growing up in Africa. You know, they told us that we should just go to school, become an engineer, a doctor, a journalist. I mean, this is how our education system is. So all of us are going to school to become this kind of people and uh, we leave the most important thing outside. No one wants to be a farmer in here. But maybe someone be a man, say, any scar. Say, any skin one. I'm finding the apple school, any scar. But never there, like I bet the panic is kind of bad. Say, I could school if you're in your sky, in your scary. I bet never this kind of bad. A basic, then thank you. I'll say, very then a bottle, eh? A bottle, cast. Okay, I'm not going to be a a discernible bob bonk or four. Okay, that was a good one. You see, this is the kind of mentality that we Africans have. We go to school to work for somebody, but not to create jobs for ourselves. This is why when you come to Africa, the Chinese are here. When you come to Africa, the Lebanese are here creating jobs and employing Africans. And when an African gets money, oh my goodness, you listen to them. They said they want to buy houses. The beautiful lady is telling me that she want to buy cars. So we go to school. We, get, we start working for people. We feel comfortable. All we need to do is to buy our land, build our beautiful house, buy a car, get married, have children, and we are successful. That is an African home. But that is not how it's supposed to be. Because they never taught us how to invest, how to become entrepreneurs, because all of them don't want to be farmers. And this is why I'm telling you that there are so many untapped opportunities in Africa that if the diaspora will move all the way from wherever they are and come back to the continent and invest, hey, Africa will be the best place to be because I will tell you that Africa is still a virgin. Africa is still untapped. 
and what the Chinese and other foreigners are doing, investing in our continent, that is the job of the diaspora. But the diaspora are now complaining about how the Chinese people are taking over the continent, how the white people are taking over the continent, but you as an African don't even want to invest in your own continent because you just want to work for somebody. Our education system did not help us. That's what I'm telling you is that don't come to Africa to look for a job, but come to Africa to create one and employ Africans. You see, when a Chinese man comes to Africa, he comes to what? Create a job and start employing what? Africans and start mistreating them. And when they start mistreating them, we as Africans start complaining about how people are treating our own people because we are not creating the jobs for ourselves. The politicians are not creating jobs. No. They don't think about Africa need factories, Africa need this. They think about, yo, I won election, I need to buy a house, I need to build mansions, I need to, I mean, buy luxurious cars and all that. And this is why Africa is still suffering. That's what I'm telling you guys, that Africa needs a second independence, an industrial independence. Because if you can build factories in Africa, if you can invest in Africa, Africa won't suffer this way. We have to change our education system. Because they, they even think that when you become a farmer, you won't get money. It's just because of our mindset from childhood days. Go to so many African countries. People who have bachelor's, master's, PhD, and they will sit at the house. They don't have jobs. Because they never taught us how to create jobs for ourselves. When we start working for somebody, that's when we feel that like we are making it in life. When somebody starts paying you, you know, you want to be a doctor? Why don't you become a businessman and build that hospital and employ doctors? Stop investing in unnecessary things like you want to buy clothes, buy cars, whilst we don't have factories in Africa. I want to tell all African diaspora, don't come to Africa to look for a job come and create one and those of you that were born on the continent and left the continent and went to wherever you are these are the people that sometimes annoys me the most i'm being honest today me i don't care like i said i don't really care these are the people that annoys me the most you know when it comes to africa's problem they are the first people to start speaking oh our, our government is this our government is that our government no you've been to europe you've been to america you've been to asia you know the system that the people create jobs. It's not a government which is creating jobs. When I went to China, it's not a government that was creating jobs. It was, it, it was the people. You've seen all these things and you are still there complaining that there are no jobs in Africa. You know what? I just came in here to tell you guys that it's time. You know, don't move to Africa to come look for a job, come create one. And um, I just want to thank my uh, young African. So, like, tell me you want to be a farmer. Eh? When you grow up, tell me you want to be a farmer. Eh? Don't think that being a farmer, you're not going to make money. Granny, just about your cars. Hey! Huh? Granny, about your cars. Granny, we don't even have, uh, what do you call it? Public uh, toilet. Public toilet. I'm a friend. Huh? So this is how it is. Um, I just want to encourage all young Africans to come together. Let's invest in our own continent because the, because Africa belongs to us and Africa needs an industrial revolution. It's time for Africans to invest in their own continent. That's all I'm going to say. When you make money, stop investing in luxurious stuff instead of invest in what the continent is lacking. Africa lacks industries. And Africa needs each and every one of you. Your boy is the Ghana baby and I'm gonna see you all tomorrow. I have my pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs>